Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, everybody, I'll tell you, I did a reading this morning, and then I went back to sleep, and I slept until, like, after 11, something like that. So, yeah, man, I fell asleep. It was, like, a yeah, deep, deep sleep. I slept like a rock. So, some of you out here could be, like, um, needing to get some rest. Okay, um, if you, you just be, be flexible with yourself at this time because there's a this energy that we're in, everything is changing. There, we got people breaking up, we got fights going on in the background, people sending you bad energy, hating on you for doing well. Um, you've been working really hard, collective. Just get your rest if you feel like you have to. Okay. That surprised me. I don't sleep like that usually, but oh, I was out like a rock. Anyway, um, this reading is for the collective, right? Just checking the energy. Um, it may or may not resonate with all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate, leave the rest. Um, don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Thank you for all the love. Just that's it. Thank you for the love, man. You guys, you show up for me every day. I show up for you every day. Um, and I just, you guys are always so wonderful to me. So thank you so much for all of it. All right, Divine, what do you have for my collective? Yeah, so get your rest, replenish, right? Um, we're all going through a lot of changes right now, and with the retrograde, it could be a beast. Surrender fluidity, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I'm, I'm getting this in, welcoming change. That's what we were just talking about. Just go with the flow. Um, be flexible with yourself, you know, um, if you feel tired, rest. If you feel like you want to get outside and get grounded, go, you know. Um, if, if you're, just do the things that you have to do to replenish yourself, take good care. Like right now, you should be totally loving on yourself, okay, nurturing, right? Um, could be a water sign and transform. Um, this is that change I was talking about. We're all that the energy is crazy. Everything is transforming. So relationships are transforming. Um, our abilities, we're, we're getting heightened abilities. We're having a lot of vivid dreams, right? Getting a lot of downloads. Um, uh, feminine energy, you're taking your power back and you're moving forward with intensity, working really hard, feeling really powerful. You know how much energy that takes, <laughs> right? So you're going to need to rest and replenish. And during the rest, I feel like that's when you get a lot of information, a lot of downloads coming to you, okay, from the divine. Um, the masculine energies, I feel like they're going through breakups, changes, enlightenment, um, doing their shadow work, right? Going through a lot of heavy emotion and a lot of fighting in the background. That takes a lot of energy. So whether you're feminine or masculine, you guys need to, you need to feed yourselves right now. Okay. You need to feed yourselves. All right. So yeah, this is the energy that we're in. Everything is just really getting shaken up. Okay. But just go with it, you know, move through it. Let the divine just kind of carry you through it, okay? Um, Aries, you could be an Aries or dealing with an Aries. Bravery. I feel like there's a masculine here. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well um, or be a Virgo. I feel like um, independent bravery and passion. I feel like somebody's going from the dark to the light here. They're um, making that transition as well. Um, I feel like this is a masculine energy who's ending something. Okay. Um, ending something, maybe feeling brokenhearted. There's some kind of split here. Um, and they're being divinely led to have integrity, right? Um, to start in service. So to start doing um, their mission, right? Get on their path. Getting the courage and bravery up and feeling that passion, that fire is lit inside them somehow. Yeah. Individuality. Yeah. And a, and a self and self image approach to life. Um, first house, I feel like this person is doing, a, they've done the shadow work, they're having an enlightenment, they're waking up, okay, um, they're getting their strength and courage, they're coming forward, they're wanting a new approach to their life, so they want to change their life, this is transformation, guys, 
This is the energy that I'm talking about here. On the bottom of the deck, yeah, we've got somebody kind of solemn, maybe making, like praying, help me get on the right path. You know, the divine's trying to hand them this cup of spirituality. It's not just love in the cups, okay? It's everything you feel at a soul level, everything that you believe in, your abilities, your intuition, the messages that the divine is trying to tell you, right? And I feel like that's what's happening to this person. They're also realizing that um, they could have missed out. I feel like all the, the divine beings are being called to action. Um, get on your path, right? Um, follow your calling. You've got mission work to do. And I feel like everyone is being called here um, to shine that light. It's that time, right? I feel like the Wheel of Fortune, they could be thinking about you here, collective, this masculine. They're realizing they're, being me they're getting messages and being told from the divine here. This was where they were supposed to go. I feel like there's a, a, this could be a twin flame soulmate connection that's supposed to come together. And you've been put in the public eye here. I feel like a divine feminine energy just out here on a glow up. Your light is really strong. I feel like you're showing it to everybody here. Um, people are loving what you're doing. And you're very intuitive, an empath, um, very peaceful, calm, serene, a teacher, a spiritual teacher for others. I feel like you've been a, a beacon um, a guide for this person the divine is trying to tell them here um, follow the we follow the north star that's what i just heard we follow the north star yeah this person's gonna have to like fight off possible there's like a group of feminine energies i feel around this person and they're gonna have to fight through it Okay, that's that energy, the fighting that I'm feeling in the background, right? This masculine trying to trying to release themselves from other people around them. I feel like they they really do have um, they really do have some feminine energies that are just they're they don't want this person to go anywhere. They don't want them to wake up. They don't want them to follow a spiritual path. They don't want them to change. They want them to stay right where they are, miserable, knowing that they're missing out on something here. This is destiny, okay? Um, they could be talking to other people about you, I feel, Divine Feminine. Uh, you're well balanced moving forward. They could be asking other people like, how does the feminine feel about me? Um, and they're telling them you're, you're not heartbroken. You're very well balanced. Um, and you're moving forward. You're leveling up in your life. They could be finding out that you're moving to a new location altogether. Um, in the public eye, I feel like that's what this person, they work really hard on watching everything that you do. They know that they're missing out on something here. They know they played their destiny, okay? They did. This person was a player. They did, uh, I feel like at the time when you met them, they um, had in and out energy. They, they were non-committal. You know, they were looking at it's almost like this person had the golden ticket, man. You know, I got the golden ticket, right? Yeah, they could have had it all with you. This is the what you are the one that they should have been with. Okay, this is a destined connection. I, I'm heavily feeling twin flame soulmate connection. Yeah, now they're in a lot of regret. Now they're in a lot of regret uh, because I feel like these. Feminine energies are not going to want to let them go, whoever they're with. Yeah, this person, all they do is watch you, man. But in watching you and you being a spiritual teacher and a healer out here somehow, whatever you're putting online, you're guiding this person through this battle. Okay? You really are an inspiration to them. And they can't seem to stop watching you because they need that information right now. You know, it's coming through as obsessive, like learning, right? They could be learning about um, the Twin Flame Soulmate connection. Um, 
Yeah, they're realizing here they had destiny right there before them that it was handed right to them on a silver platter and they turned it down. Now they don't want to let go. Now they don't want to let you go. This person could also be looking into their finances here. They could be working really hard trying to get their money right because they're broke. They may even be needing to make a move away, but they may not have enough money here to do it. So they could be asking for help as well. Look at you. They're seeing you as an earth angel here, and you've got this person blocked out. Um, I also feel like you've got a lot of spiritual protection around you right now. You could be, um, you could possibly be an Aquarius, a Gemini. We're kind of heavy on Gemini. A Sagittarius, maybe. They could be a Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces. Um, I've also got Aries out here, heavy Virgo. Yeah, they walked away from an Empress. Look at that. They walked away from an empress, and they know this. You were you were their destined soulmate connection, okay? And they walked away from it. The divine gave them a chance at a blessing in love, and they pretty much spit in the cup and dropped, kicked it to the curb. Yeah, they walked away from you. They they sabotaged their own happiness here. This person's realizing all of this, and they're watching you. They're able to watch your glow up and watch you do what you do. I feel like they're really very obsessive about you right now, learning who you are, who you are to them, seeing what you can do. Yeah, this person, is they're angry. I feel like this person is now, they, look, they were suppo they're in their south node right now. So they're going like backwards in life, okay? The divine is showing them this. They're like, where did you get being in your south node? Um, they, this person could have gone back to somebody from their past or something and missed out on their blessing. Um, or just they didn't follow the right, like they should be, I feel they should be in the upright, right? But in, it's just screaming at me, South Node. So this person literally, um, when they should have been climbing with you, they were actually taking a fall little by little the whole time they were without you because of their own choices. Okay? They made the, they made the wrong choices over and over and over again, and they stuck to them. And now it may be too late. With this person in their South Node and you clearly in your North Node, um, it's like you're, you went on separate paths almost. This person went into toxic kind of karmic situations and you, you followed the North Star. Yeah, you're in your North Node. They're in their South Node and they're stuck. This person could even be, in, uh, the divine could have them in spiritual prison, making them stay where they are, um, you know, and look at themselves, right? Uh, learning a lesson here. They're showing them clearly. They sabotaged their happiness. They walked away from an empress. That's what this is, sabotaging their happiness, walking away from an empress. Um, they played their destiny here. Yeah, and you were an earth angel. Man. And now they're like, crap, what do I do now? They're in a very stuck position, okay? And the divine is making them look at all of this. They're studying you. They're obsessively watching you. There's a lot of fighting going on behind the scenes. They're trying to break free. Yeah, this is what the divine is showing them. You know what? We offered you love. You At one point, this person probably prayed for you. Um, and the divine sent them love. Please, God, give me somebody who's not going to hurt me, right? They could have been in several bad relationships in the past. And um, the divine's like, okay, we'll send you a blessing. Well, that was you, collective. That was you. But they turned down love in order to use their wand. All this person wanted was passion. They wanted personal gratification, and the divine is like, dude, how long did that last you? I'll bet you this love would have lasted a lifetime. 
a lifetime of wish fulfillment a lifetime is something solid you got your personal gratification but that's about all you got and it it's momentary you know yeah look they had a chance at a past life soulmate connection this is coming out in reverse when we gave you somebody who was going to love you and and love and give you unconditional love you didn't want it you didn't want it you could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with this person with this empress and you didn't want it all you wanted was the passion that's it you chose passion over love and and that's you following your south node while the collective is following the north star and um, yeah, this is why you're feeling stuck right now. This is why you're not happy. This is why you're going through all the fights, man. This is why. Boom. They realize it here. You were the one for them. You were the true love for them. And now they could have missed their chance to get back together with you because this person, I feel like they, they manipulated you okay um they wanted you to possibly chase after them they could have played games with a lot of other people okay and that was their wish fulfillment you were their wish fulfillment they lied they betrayed you now they're getting the ten swords back everything that they put you through collective is coming back on them everything and that's fair this is the universe balancing these scales Okay, that's that. So this person, I feel like they're obsessively watching you. They're in love with you here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly a Libra, a Libra, heavy on Virgo, Aries, Aquarius. This is what they get. This is how. This is what happens when you follow your South Node. You make really bad choices. You make really bad choices. This person chose passion over true love. That's what they chose. Momentary gratification over something that would have lasted a lifetime. Um, and it was their wish fulfillment and would have made, I mean, this is ultimate wish fulfillment here. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups with a star, an Empress, and an Earth Angel. Yeah, they threw it all away. They're feeling it now. They're feeling it now, Collective. Oh, they're feeling it now. This is being a big ball of mush on the inside. Very emotional, right? Rocky emotions. This is them being in a lot of pain, realizing that they just... Uh, they basically screwed themselves out of a lifetime of happiness and love and riches. And that was the destiny that this person was, they were, the divine was trying to give this to them. Okay, they were trying, but this person, they just kept doing what they were doing here. No, I feel like um, this person now, like I said, they want to come towards you. Okay, look, they want to drop these burdens. They're carrying these burdens because I feel like, you know what? I feel like this person's going to drop these burdens and come towards you. I got to say, I feel like they made you feel like the third party um, in this situation. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Cancer here. I've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but this person's going to drop all of this. I feel like they want to boss up. And they want to come towards you really fast. Yeah, they want this new beginning. They want this new beginning. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. That they betrayed all because you tried to love them. And you've been wanting the truth. And the truth is about to come towards you here. I feel like you just don't want to wait anymore. They want this new beginning, but you may actually tell this person, no, you may say, you know what, I'm good on my own. I don't trust you anymore after all that you've done. I've been putting in the work into myself and I don't need anybody in the energy that I'm in. I'm independent and I'm happy just being me 
and I'm successful and I'm pay I'm too busy with work. You could tell them that. I'm just this isn't I'm just happy being alone. I'm happy being single. So I some of you may turn this person down. They're coming in with this offer. Okay, but you have been betrayed and I feel like you sat for a long period of time while this person ignored you and all you wanted to do is give them love. You were a true gift to this person, man. And they treated you like garbage. This person's coming in to talk, okay? They're coming in to talk. They want you. They know you're the true soulmate connection. They're taking a momentary pause here, and then they're going to pick up this sword down here on the bottom here. That stands for the Ace of Swords, and I feel like they're about to communicate, okay? Yeah, look, I feel like this person's coming forward here. They're coming forward to claim their destiny and their empress. Yeah, the one that they completely um, dismissed and disregarded in the past. Yes, they are. They're being shown. I feel like they can't take the pain of this anymore. They can't. I mean, they're in a lot of regret. They're feeling every bit of this collective, okay? And they're realizing here, like I said, they were following their south node, going backwards in life, making the wrong choices, and you were following your north star the whole time. And uh, you've built yourself up, and their life is going to start crumbling down here with the tower. Man, there's a lot of stuff going. This is a major transformation, I feel, for all of you. You have transformed your life. Now this masculine is about to transform theirs. Okay? So get ready, collective, because this person's coming in. They're coming in to talk. Okay, and I feel like it's going to happen really fast. This is something that you are not going to be expecting. Okay, so get ready. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.